What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing an update on SENS ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with fundamental news about this company. And at the end of this video, I will show you my forecast and detail analysis. Uh, what should you expect from the price action? And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to take a part in the limited time offer from Webull and earn two free stocks valued up to $2300, just open new account, deposit only $5 and choose your free stocks. Link in my description. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point and I've told you that we are forming this channel. It is a bearish flag and uh, we have to be cautious because usually this pattern breaks to the downside. And uh, if I continue this channel right here, you can see that uh, for now we have this breakout and uh, we are forming new uh, potential new uptrend and uh, it is a rather good volume, but we still have to be extremely cautious. And uh, I will show you in my technical analysis uh, why you should be aware of it. So, and let's continue with the fundamentals of this company. First of all, let's start with the company profile. Sensonic Holdings, a medical technology company, develops and commercializes continuous glucose monitoring systems for people with diabetes in the United States, Europe, the Middle East and Africa. The company's uh, products include Eversense and Eversense XL, which are implantable CGM systems to measure glucose levels in people with diabetes through an under-the-skin sensor, a removable and rechargeable smart transmitter and a convenient app for real-time diabetes monitoring and management for a period of up to 90 and 180 days. And I have to remind you that uh, this company has uh, an FDA approval only for their CGM uh, 90 days system and uh, we are awaiting for approval of their 180 days. And this approval should be this October. And in my opinion, this might be a very good catalyst, very good potential catalyst for the price of this stock. So, for now, its total market cap is $1.41 billion. They have a revenue of $10.79 million with a net negative net income of $554.88 million. They have a negative revenue growth of 20.5% and this negative revenue growth is the result of a pandemic hit and is the result of lockdowns of 2020 and as you can see this uh, information is uh, trailing 12 months. So uh, they have a total cash position of 163.09 million dollars but according to their latest uh, earnings report they have uh, 215 million dollars. So from the financial standpoint this uh, company is uh, quite stable because uh, they have uh, enough uh, money to operate. So and let's continue with uh, some news. If you type uh, in Google Sense stock and uh, switch to news folder, you can see a list of news, but all of them are not so major that you might see. And basically these uh, articles just mention some old facts and uh, they made some consideration about what to expect next. And this is one of these articles. Uh, we are on Investor Place and it was published four days ago. It's titled Revenue Acceleration Will Lift Sensonics. And let me quote you this information. On June 3rd, Sensonic announced the results of uh, the Promise study. It demonstrated strong accuracy of uh, the 180-day Eversense continuous glucose monitoring system. And uh, I already covered this information, but uh, I didn't have uh, this information. Dr. Satish Garg, the principal investigator, said The accuracy profile demonstrated by Eversense in the Promise study validates the role that long-term implantable CGM systems can play in helping people manage their glucose levels. So it is a rather good opinion of uh, investigator and uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, this company also has a lot of risks. And the main risk uh, is uh, if we will see new lockdown and uh, this uh, will impact uh, the ability of uh, patients uh, to buy their CGM system and this will definitely impact uh, the sales of Sensonics in a negative manner. And uh, this is one downside. Second one. If we will see some delays uh, in FDA approval or even deny in FDA approval, the, the price of uh, their stocks uh, will have a bloodbath. And you also have to keep this in mind. But we also have uh, some uh, positive signs uh, because of uh, their latest uh, Promise study and because uh, they have uh, 
the approval for 180 days system in Europe and they already sell this system in the European Union. And uh, this definitely is a positive sign. On top of that, the 180 days and uh, 90 days systems are almost identical. And in my opinion, if Sensonic already has uh, the approval of uh, their 90 days system, this means uh, that the 180 days should be approved and we have uh, more chances to see this approval. And this information leads us uh, to the list of their institutional owners. And as you can see, green rows indicate uh, new positions and red rows indicate closed positions. And uh, white lines indicate uh, some changes in positions. And as you can see, we have more green rows and uh, uh, we have just several red ones. So, this means uh, we have more positive signs than the negative ones, but we have to be still extremely cautious. So, let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. As you can see, guys, as already mentioned, we don't have major news that might drive the price of this company, but we have this decent volume and as you can see, it is a little bit higher than we had previously. And uh, during this uh, movement to the upside, we have uh, very good, uh, basically the highest volume, if you compare it with the volume inside this channel. And this means uh, we might have the first initial wave to the upside. And if we will uh, break uh, this uh, resistance and retest it from the top, and with the good volume, we'll see some uh, movement to the upside. This will definitely indicate that we are in uptrend. But until this happen, you have, you have to be extremely cautious because uh, this breakout might be a false breakout and uh, it might be a bull trap. And what should you do if you want to invest in this company? In my opinion, you have to wait. If you didn't uh, enter your position right here on my previous call or right here at these three levels, accumulation points, and uh, if you enter your position right here, your average price uh, should be a little bit higher than $2.5. And uh, in this case, uh, you have nothing to worry about uh, the price action. But if you still don't have a position and want to enter your position right now, you have to be cautious because uh, we don't have uh, enough fundamentals for now. And to buy these stocks uh, right after this uh, breakout is not the best uh, point because uh, your average price will be highly above $3.5. And uh, let me show you that uh, average uh, price of institutional owners is 3.2. 3.4 dollars as you can see right here 3.24 3.3 3.25 and our average price as i already mentioned is a little bit higher than 2.5 dollars so we are in much more favorable position with this company but if you want to add your position right here it is not the best choice in my opinion, we still have a possibility to break uh, this uh, formation to the downside and the uh, next uh, potential accumulation point is still right here, right below $2.83 and we might have even this, we might hit even $2.31 uh, price before we will see an FDA approval. So this means you have to be cautious and I suggest not to enter your position right here. So with that being said, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. See you guys and girls next time. Bye.